Right, hi everyone. Welcome back to a brand new one. Now, recently created a brand new course in uh, CI/CD of infrastructure and application with GitLab. Now, with the time of recording that course or creating that course, I realized that you really not need to learn everything about CI/CD pipeline or GitLab or for that matter GitHub as well because both of them works in the YAML based pipeline. But you really need to understand few of these concepts which I'm going to tell you about in this one. So without further ado, let's get started. The first one is without actually getting into pipeline, you should learn about how to build an application or this could be again Node.js, Java, .NET, could be anything built on your local and then deploy it as a container if you're uh, high chances nowadays you would be deploying it as a container. Okay first build and deploy on local or if you're writing infrastructure which i have also shown in the course writing infrastructure using terraform pulumi cloudformation or arm templates could be anything you would first know how to build it locally then only move on to the pipeline next stage is the pipeline now what are the things you need in the pipeline the first one is you how do you you start creating a project in your github or gitlab i'm gonna i'm gonna take the reference of gitlab in this one but one thing i can really assure you folks is that if you kind of learn the concepts of GitLab, GitHub is pretty easy and pretty similar as well because both of them works on the similar concepts. In GitLab, it's stages. In GitHub, it's workflows. In uh, GitLab, again, it's jobs. And underneath stages, you've got jobs. In GitHub, also, you've got jobs underneath your workflows. Uh, so once you build your application or infrastructure, second thing you've got to do is create the project in your GitLab and start running your first pipeline. It's gonna be a YAML based pipeline, which you need to run and start with as many stages as you can. Now, uh, in my previous one, I've already showed you how you could create multiple stages. So first thing you got to really know is how stages and jobs underneath the stage work. So jobs are directly inclined or attached to the stage. So you've got one job attached to one stage, you've got multiple jobs attached to a single stage. So the second thing you really need to understand is what are the stages and jobs? The next one is how you could use a shell script in a pipeline. Now, if you're really working on your pipeline and grown really big, you would like to create it in a reusable model. So you could create shell once and start calling it again and again. So it's like a calling module in your GitLab pipeline. The next one is use of local templates. So you could create a template once. This is, these are like nested templates, which I feel it's kind of missing in GitHub, uh, but it's there in Azure DevOps as well, in GitLab as well. You could use a nested a local template. You create a YAML once, and then you can start calling that YAML again and again. Imagine you've got thousands of uh, lines of YAML. You want to shrink this down. You're going to optimize it by using the local template. The next one is predefined templates. Now, if you really want to get started and don't want to write anything, GitLab already provides you predefined templates, which they have already written it or somebody from the marketplace have written it. Now, this could be for an application or for an infrastructure or for a security as well. There are hundreds of uh, predefined templates available which you could use next one which you really need to know in gitlab is that how do you cache your stages or jobs so that they can be used again and again let's suppose you're installing a yarn package or npm package in your pipeline you want to make sure that you enable caching in your pipeline so that it doesn't have to run the yarn update or npm install again and again once installed in the pipeline it stays forever so you got to learn about cache how to retry if your job or stage has failed the pull push policies and uh, a bit of troubleshooting as well so if you learn these uh, six seven concepts i think you're pretty good in terms of how to champion a yaml based pipeline i gave you an example related to gitlab but this kind of exactly copies to github as well all right i hope this was informative i'll see you in the next one thank you